Hello everybody. I hope by this time that I'm your favorite YouTube vlogger. So I'm very doubtful because you guys are I mean I've oh it's over four hundred views I think now on, on my two YouTube channels. Two subscribers. Eight comments, I think. Come on guys, you know people that make YouTube videos you know we do it for a reason and whatever that reason is is okay whether it's entertainment uh, social matters I mean, whatever it is you know we do this we do this for a reason and um, we like to have some feedback you know it, it's it uh, really is nice if people subscribe because then every time we put out a, a video they get a notification saying there's a new video and you know it the other important uh feature besides the subscribe is the share because it's like uh any other thing that uh gains in popularity a big part of that is word of mouth and so guys you know if you don't like the video then hit the thumbs down <laughs> you know because a lot of us, you know, in, in the words of uh, you're just average street Americanists, we don't give a fuck. You know, <laughs> we don't give a fuck. You know, if if uh, we're doing this for a reason, and some of that is self-serving, and a lot of us, I've gotten way beyond the point of being uh, offended by what uh, someone thinks about us, you know, because my goodness, you know, people waste so much time on that, and it's more ladies than men, you know, men, of course, with their vanity, but, and ladies with their, you know, having been bombarded from youth by the media about, hey, this, is, this is how you're supposed to look, this is how you're supposed to dress, um, you know, Guys will like you if you look like this. All oh, that crap, you know. If, if the media only knew what guys... I mean, I'm talking about not your sex pervert types. Um, what a, no, average normal guys, what, what we find attractive in a lady. You know, sure, it is something to do with appearance. But I promise you, it goes much deeper than that. And again, I'm talking about uh... regular guys with decent morals and stuff that are looking for a lady to to date and possibly even marry later on you know um, your looks i mean come on how many times have you seen a couple and they just don't match physically and you're thinking to yourself how on earth did they get together what is she seeing him what is he seeing her and th there it is right there you know there's there's a uh forces that bond two people together a man and a woman not a man and a man or a woman and a woman a man and a woman and those forces are deeper than physical attraction so anyway um if you like a video subscribe to the person's channel because I'm new at this, just been doing it a couple of months, and um, I uh, I don't under I'm not doing this for compensation. Uh, I, I a person told me recently that you can be you can be compensated uh, if you reach a certain number of views or something like that or subscribers. I'm, I haven't even investigated because this is not why I'm doing this. But if um, I were able to get uh, uh, money <laughs> come on I mean, I'm a retired veteran and I live off a very small pension and my rent for this beautiful one-room affair here takes half of that money so I'm sure I would take a, some change from making videos but and also uh, some of us are not um, blessed because we're not blessed financially we don't have a bunch of elaborate equipment like I would love to have my videos uh, a banner in in the front, um, you know, a, a, a page, a beginning page that was always the same, and I'd like to be able to edit and and add things in, play music, uh, play other tapes, show clips, 
of other uh, like news features, all that stuff. I'd love to be able to do that. And there, the time will come when I will be able to do that. Uh, so, uh, because I have some irons in the fire that should produce a little money here um, this year. And if I don't go to Denver and spend it all in their little flower shops, <laughs> I'll uh, upgrade a little bit. But this is not going to be long. I, you know, I was taking a shower a while ago, and I don't know why I was thinking about it. It's pretty typical of me. I think of, I think of completely unrelated things to what's going on, you know. But I was thinking about um, the uh, uh, atheists and how on earth a person can uh, not believe in a creator. And that this is that this is a creation, and I'm going to dedicate an entire video to this later because it de it definitely needs it. And uh, because you know my first thoughts on that are uh, in the Bible, which I know you atheists love. It's your favorite book. Um, it there's a verse in uh, Roman first chapter of Romans um, that says paraphrasing um that the creation teaches you about god so uh, you know i kind of used that as a springboard in my thinking this morning and i thought you know that's that's right because i was making a video yesterday in an area where there's some it's spring here in texas and flowers are coming out everywhere i love flowers and i'm not a homo okay uh i uh I probably shouldn't have said that, uh, but I was uh, film, uh, videotaping some of these flowers, and you know, I was thinking to myself, man, there's people that think this, these just evolved out of nothing, and you know, as I looked around at the area right there, uh, at all the plants, just the simplest grass, weeds, and all that, all of them are unique, and they have their own. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Damn rock gut cocaine. Um, but they all have their own um, unique uh, patterns and growth and all that. And then the trees that were around, I went on and on. But then I sat down on the bench and I was thinking, you know, just the very idea that I'm thinking this, you know, what about the brain, the human brain? And not the physical part of the human brain. I'm talking about the mind. The mind, where, where thoughts are, where memories are stored. Um, I say, I don't know, they, I think they've, scientists have said that's a chemical thing. Maybe it is. Maybe it's all chemical. But I think there is a part of us that's not attached to us physically. It's not attached to us. And in the Bible, uh, people will refer to the spirit, the soul. Um, but I, I believe that. And there's a, there is another thing here that, uh, like personality and all those kind of things, man. We're, we're all different. If we had evolved, if, this, if these things had evolved, they'd be the same. Just like fingers. You know, everybody has the same fingers. We all have... Two arms, and I'm talking. I'm not talking about your mutations, okay? Uh, for you exception artists, um, but we all are basically the same, except here. <laughs> but um, I thought, but we're not in the mind. None of us are the same in our mind. So to say that these are chemical processes it would seem that there would be some similarities. And, you know, and there are some, but a lot of that is based on what information is put in here, what's programmed in here. That's where your similarities come from. But then you, 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 you talk about uh, free thinking, free thinking, creating thoughts. And, you know, those kind of things, guys, if anybody can tell me why they think that that type of process and feature of the human uh, beings evolved. You know, just the idea that we evolved, period, it's just so ridiculous, man. 
I mean, if, if we evolved, evolution is, is, is a crappy system because, you know, we could have done better than that. I mean, I'd love to have seven fingers playing the guitar. Why did we stop at five? Why did evolution stop at five? And, uh, you know, why not have two mouths so you can talk out of both sides? Anyway, I'm full of shit. And why not have eyes in the back of your head? What would be wrong with having eyes in the back of your head? What would be wrong with having your lower torso and your upper torso be able to spin completely around? There's, I mean, I could go on and on and on ad nauseum about this shit. But I'm going to stop here. Look, you guys, and you, if you, any of you have been watching some of my videos, you know I basically don't hold back, okay? And it's not my intention to offend, but, you know, the, the climate in our culture today, I mean, you can look a certain way and you're going to offend somebody. So, you know what, like I said, I don't give a fuck, all right? Um, atheists and people that don't believe in God, and people that are atheists, you've made a choice right there. You, 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 you've got your own religion of non-belief. But for all you guys, man, look, give it another look. T take a look around. Walk outside. Look, look around. Look on the ground. Look at all, look at all the insects. And uh, you know, beyond what you can see, there are millions, probably billions, of microscopic organisms, bacteria. Uh, you know, on and on and on. And uh, it. Uh, uh, it just defies any kind of reason and logic that anyone could possibly believe that there is no creator. All right, guys, I'll get back with you on this. I got a lot of business to take care of today. Being retired, I guess, for some people is a leisurely thing. For me, it's not. Except when I go to Denver and visit the flower shops, <laughs> that's leisure. And I'm going to make another video on that. I, I have a girl I make videos for, and, and uh, I want to take her to Denver with me. And I was, uh, I'm getting ready to get into a work program at the Veterans Hospital, and it's going to last six months. So I figured, you know, uh, later in the year, possibly December. So I said, maybe we can go to Denver in December. Uh-oh. Don't say those kind of things to a songwriter <laughs> or to a poet. Uh, you know, because uh, I wrote a whole song already. Denver in December. And uh, so, anyway, I just want to share that a little bit with you guys. All right, y'all take it easy, and I'll see you.